Well, it's starting to happen now. And perhaps you've even noticed it as you drive along the highway or walk through town. What am I talking about? I'm talking about the plants outside. Everything is starting to come back to life. Throughout the winter, everything looked dead. I mean, the grass was brown, the trees had no leaves on it, everything just looked dead. But now, in the springtime, everything is transitioning from death to life. The grass is now green and growing. Trees are starting to bud, and we're even seeing some flowers beginning to bloom. Everything is coming back to life. And that's what springtime is all about. It's about transitioning from death to life. And so perhaps it's no coincidence that it's during the springtime that we celebrate the greatest death to life story ever. The life of our Savior Jesus. You see, roughly 2,000 years ago, the Son of God, our Savior Jesus, left His heavenly throne and came to live in this sinful world. And through it all, He remained absolutely perfect. He never messed up. He never sinned. And yet, despite that, He was sentenced to death on a cross. He was sentenced to death for crimes He never committed. But... Three days later, our Savior Jesus transitioned from death to life when he rose from the dead on that first Easter Sunday. Why did he do all of that? He did it all for us. He lived a perfect life for us because that's something we can't do. We can't live a perfect life and please God, so Jesus did it for us. He also suffered and died for us because through his death, he would take away our sins and in exchange, he would give us his perfection and holiness. And so now God no longer sees us as sinners worthy of damnation, but he sees us as perfect saints who are worthy of eternal life. And that's why Jesus rose from the dead too, to assure us that we will have that eternal life. As Jesus himself says in John 14 verse 19, because I live, you also will live. Jesus' life is the greatest death to life story. And if you believe it, you will have your own death to life story because Jesus is going to raise you from the dead and grant you eternal life in God's paradise. Trust me, I know springtime in Wisconsin is incredibly unpredictable. But still, enjoy the springtime. Enjoy it as you see things transition from death to life. And rejoice that you will do the same. If this devotion has been a blessing to you, please like and share with others. God's blessings to you all.